What's going on, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Just woke up a little while ago. I'm going to talk about a trending topic that's on YouTube right now and on uh, Instagram. I'm sure it's on Twitter. Um, why do, um, how can I say this, man? What really, or why it does, or what really, the, t- the name of the title is, what really causes beef between African Americans on YouTube. What do you think really causes beef between African Americans on YouTube? Because there's not that many of us in the country, in the United States, and um, everything we do is always a big competition. And we all try to knock each other down or think we're better than each other. What do you think? And this doesn't just go with YouTube, it just goes with African Americans and black people in general. So I'm just waiting for you guys to get on the live. Let's talk about it. It's one of them topics. Um, I'm gonna let you guys just tell me how you feel. And, um, and you know, I'll just go in the comment section and I'll um, try to answer to the best of my ability. But after that, all is well with me. It's a lovely Friday out here in um, Salvador Bahia, Brazil. It's uh, It's not cloudy, but it looks like it's gonna rain. But it's been nothing but a cool ride here in um, Brazil. And I'm just waiting for you guys to come on the live. On this early morning, once you're on the live, let me know. Let me know. four people in my heart are you doing yeah i'm doing this live i just want you guys opinion you tell me what you think is the issues and we can talk about it i might do more lives about this because i know this is very dear to a lot of people heart this topic there's a lot of stuff been going on lately with youtube A lot of stuff been going on lately with YouTube. So I'm just waiting for you guys to come on live. I know it's early morning out there for a lot of people because uh, we scattered all over the world. But we got four people watching. Once again, please get a video like and give your opinion on this subject matter. Give your opinion on the subject matter. Shout out to my boy Ivan. I have ventures, shout out to my boy, I am Iowa. Got seven people, we got two likes, what's going on guys? Somebody chime in and give their opinion. Yes, we got somebody that came in. When I said watching from Las Vegas, man. Good morning, man, good morning out there in Vegas. I think it's like probably like what, 6 a.m. in Vegas? It's kind of early out there in Vegas as well. We're six, seven. And what time is it here? It's 10 a.m. here. So Vegas, probably like 7 a.m. William Flowers, what do you have to say about this subject matter, man? It's a lot to say, man. It's a lot to say. But I feel, until you guys start talking, I get my opinion. I feel that um, black people, maybe African, African African-Americans, we have beef with each other on YouTube because obviously we just have different views or opinions on a certain topic. And that's why we don't always agree. You know, if you can compare it like when uh, two people disagree in like a heated conversation, that's the same thing we have on YouTube. People just don't agree on different things on YouTube. So the same thing happens with YouTube. And then sometimes people take things to the next level by like clapping back by with disrespectful comments and shade. But I feel as YouTubers, especially black YouTubers, we should try to find find a way to get along 
and work everything out because it's a, a space that I'm a part of and it's not really not really too many black people doing YouTube videos like that compared to uh, other people and also it's a hard it's a hard career move you know what I mean you got to really be dedicated to it and you got to really want to do it it's not an easy career move by any any chance anywhere at all William Flowers, shout out to you. He said the cultures class between African Americans and Africans sometimes is misunderstanding. So he's saying like uh, with Af with the cultures between African Americans and Africans are misunderstanding. So I guess he's saying that's the same thing with YouTube. Uh Walls, what's up, Walls? What's going on with you? He said, uh, no, my guy, creative differences happen every day. The black mental seems they feel special only they are supposed to be here wow that's deep man that's deep that's deep the wall said what's up yeah man it's a it's a it's a big space man youtube is a big space and it's you know there's a lot going on on youtube but yeah it's just i hate to see when when when, when, uh, when my people my black people um we beef man because we we've been through so much man no matter what we do, you no know, civil rights movement, YouTube, culture, everything, we've been too much. We all say greed. Yeah, greed, maybe greed can play a part in it, but I feel like the YouTube space is big enough for everybody. You know, just got to find a niche and be creative and do something that's different and unique from um, what other other content creators are doing, and I think it'll be all right. Please, guys, if you can get a video like, I greatly appreciate it. I woke up on an early morning to get this live. I woke out of bed, it was on my mind, it was heavy on my heart. So I was like, let me um, talk about it. ASHL said, just because we black doesn't mean that we share the same beliefs and values. 100%. I agree with you 100%. Some black people are Muslim, some black people are Catholic, some black people are Christian. Some black people are rich, some black people are poor, some black people are raised with both parents, some black people are raised with a single parent. Some black people raising a foster care. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So that all shapes your values. You're hundred thousand percent right. Appreciate you for chiming in. Uh, Miss Truth said, uh, "Very true. Seems like we can't agree to disagree without being disrespectful." Yeah, I think we just need to be more humble. I try to be humble as I can. You know what I mean? But some people take it as weakness. But I'm a strong dude. But they take it as a uh, weakness when you try to be humble. But I feel the space is big enough for all of us to um, do what we have to do. And if it's not working for you, then you gotta find some kind of else, some kind of something else to do that can work for you. But um, it was heavy on my heart, man. I feel like I should have talked about it this morning. You know, I wanted to talk to you guys because you guys are from the channel. So I was like, let's see what you guys feel about it. Um, Mr. Truth said, very, it's very true. Like, okay, well, right there, Wall said, Bro, you got to release travel vlogs while they coming at you. Bro, you got the realest travel vlogs while they coming at you. I never heard you say anything negative or faulty, flirt, flaunt your success like others. You know, I'm a real dude, man. And I you know, grew up in the streets of Philly, man. Shout out to Uptown, that's where I'm from, Mount Airy. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's, you got people that are haters, man. You got people that hate just to hate, you know what I mean? People hate that I'm in Brazil. People probably hate that I got the 100,000 100, 100, subscriber plaque, you know? And the, really the people that's really, I believe, that's hating on me are black people, man. And it's sad that my own people acting up, like my boy Tupac said. Sad that my own kind is acting up on me. Like, they just don't want us, I don't know. Blacks don't want to see people do good. Not all blacks. Obviously, we got good blacks, but some blacks just don't want to see people do good, man. So it's just, a, it's a, oh man, it's just something on my heart. I figured, you know, we just talk about the beef and everything. Um, Reserve Vibe said, you know, it's okay. This world is huge and there are billions of differences. The problem is how we decide to communicate. How we uh how we feel. Some people do it humbly, and some other people do it with anger. I always do everything humbly, much as I can, man. 
like I said, I'm willing to work with any YouTuber, white, black, Chinese, Asian. It doesn't matter if they have 100,000 subscribers, uh, 1 million subscribers. They have two subscribers, man. I'm a real dude, man. I'm easy to reach out to. And all is good. Mr. Worldwide said, big love, Philly. Thank you, man. Mr. Worldwide said, smiling champ. Life too short, as you would tell me. Yes, life is too short, man. Mr. Worldwide said, that don't look like Selena's. No, I'm in an um, Airbnb right now, man, with my boy. Compliments of Master Wayne, the guy from Amazon. I've been staying with him, man. He's coming down here because he's going to be down here for a while. So I've been with him, man. So I've been staying in Airbnb. So this is totally different from my whole setup. I like it. This is how rich YouTubers travel. <laughs> um, Perry said, Bon dia. Bon dia is good morning in um, Brazil. Bon dia. Thank you, Perry, man, for the, uh, the Portuguese early in the morning. Once again, guys, please get a video like. Proof said, what's up, Philly? All is well proof. There's, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on on YouTube, a lot of, um, you know, beefing and, and, you know, different opinions. So I'm just, you know, talking about it, man. Uh, Belize Vibe said it's all about communication. Yeah, I agree it is all about communication. Belize Vibe said the best we can do is keep our head up and hearts clear of negativity. I always try to keep clear of negativity. I want the best for anybody, man. I want the best for any and everybody, man. I want to see everybody win, man. I don't want to see nobody lose, man. I don't want to see nobody lose. I want to see everybody win, man. I'm big on positivity, man. I'm not here to put down my white people. I'm not here to put down my black people. I'm not here to put down my Asian people, my Hispanic people, my Latin American people. I just want positivity, man. That's that's straight from the heart, man. But I know life, you know, has its yang and a yang. Bart said they can make progress through cooperation. Otherwise, they will be set back. That's all that all worse, worse than be that's worse than before. Yes, indeed. Once again, if you're watching, man, make sure you get a video like so we can let YouTube know that people will appreciate what I'm doing, man. And once again, I like to take the time out and thank everybody that subscribed to my channel and gave my videos a like, share my videos, contact me via Instagram, contact me on YouTube, contact me via email, man. I appreciate every last one of you guys. If it wasn't for you, ladies and gentlemen, this would not be possible. Shout out to my boy Sewer Rat, man. Sewer Rat, what you think about the beef with the black YouTubers on, on YouTube? And also, let's not let these other guys off the hook. Black YouTubers that uh, make make videos to try to call themselves exposing or disrespecting another black person. What do you guys think about that? Because I, I don't I don't think that's just, that's right. I think if you're good at what you do for us, YouTube, you should make content, meaningful content. You shouldn't try to make your, you should try to bring down a brother to bring yourself up. And most of the time it don't even work, man, because most people can see through fake stuff. Even when you uh, take the time to do videos and you hide your face. I rarely hide my face in videos. You know where I'm at. I'm in Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. I'm always transparent. I'm staying with my boy, Master Wayne. I'm in an Airbnb. We're in an area called uh, Baja in Salvador Bahia, which is a real nice neighborhood. There's a beach down the street. Porta de, Porta de, uh, Porta de Baja Beach. So um, I'm real, I'm real as they come, man. I'm real and I'm transparent as possible. But um, I feel if we can slow down on the beef and stuff, that would be good. But, you know, it's a part of life, man. You got your good times. You got your bad times. You just got to deal with them. Sorry that my voice is a little raspy. I just got up a couple of hours, maybe 30, 40 minutes ago, maybe 40, 40 minutes ago. Washed some clothes back there. Didn't even eat no breakfast or anything yet, man. It just was like I woke up. This was on my heart because I just did a live last night. So I woke up. I was like, yo, let me talk to the people and see what's going on. But yeah, I'm all for positivity, and um, I want to see everybody win, man. 
even people that hit on me, I want to see them win, man. I just, it's, life is too short, man. You don't have time just to be hating on people, man. I want to, I want to see everybody win. I want to even see my haters win. Not even, not many people say they all mean that, and you know, say it condescending or whatever. But no, I want to see my haters win too, man. I want them to win. I want them to progress in life. I want them to do good, man. I want everybody to be successful in whatever they do. Lisa, I said, put God first. Yes, indeed. That's what I did with the channel, man. I put God first, man. Put God first and pray when I'm feeling down. Pray for those that need it. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Believe vibes. Appreciate that, man. That's very positive. Suarez said, I hate to say it, but we can't get along. We be jealous of each other. And Suarez, where do you think this jealousy with, with black people come from, man? Because it seems like we're a lot more jealous and envy of others than other races of people, man. It's just my opinion, and this is coming from a black man. Oh man. And let's not let's not let's not let's keep it real transparent as possible. Black people are not the only people that disrespect or disrespectful people on YouTube. Let's just let's get that out there. Because I know people want to sound bite this live and everything. I'm purposely not bringing up nobody's name at all because I know people want to sound bite and you know make this more than what it is. But let's say let me say it again. Black people are not the only people that are disrespectful people on YouTube. People of all races, genders, and backgrounds can be disrespectful on YouTube. So let's get that out there. There are many people, what can I could say, who use, like I was saying, man, it hurts my heart to say this, but you got a lot of black, black people and other people that use their platform to spread hate and negativity, regardless of their race. They're not just black people, because I don't want to sit here and try to just pick on black people, but other races do it as well. Let me say it again. Many people who use, many people use their platform to spread hate and negativity, regardless of their background. However, it is important to recognize that um, people of color face great levels of discrimination and prejudice on YouTube. So that's why I get upset that's why I get upset when we beef him because we already face big levels of discrimination and conflict already. And then for YouTubers to be going at it or for content creators just to focus on bringing down somebody else without 100% of the facts, it's a sad situation, man. I'm trying to get rid of the tension, man. We need more positivity, man. We need more positivity. Let's see what you guys are saying. Lee said, okay, we put God first. Sue said, hey, okay, uh, Wall said, it's sad putting stuff out. It's sad putting stuff out. Look at, uh, I guess, CJ Shoes, first guy said, and Rose. I don't even, Rose did Walmart, regardless, don't like to buy. Okay, if that makes some sense, I'm um, I'm a little confused with that. You, what's going on? He said 100%. Rat said, my dad used to all the time. I don't want to believe what I was. I was a kid. My dad said, I used to all the time. I didn't want to believe when I was a kid. I'm a little lost with some of these messages. But shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Please support the channel. In any way you can, your boy Philly Dom is working hard as I can. Um, this weekend, I will go out and get some content for you in different parts of uh, of the city. I just put out some videos with um, Steve, Steve in uh, stories. He gave some great information, man, about um, Salvador Bahia, Brazil, because he lives here. And you know, I appreciate the information he gave. Status Boom, shout out to you, Status Boom, Status Boom. You made the book, man. You're in my book, Status Boom, man. I appreciate you, man. You pushed me, man. You pushed me, Status Boom X, man. You're a real dude, man. Even in my darkest hours on YouTube, man, you pushed me, man. I greatly appreciate that. Gil said, what's up, Philly? I'm back from Senegal, man. How was Senegal, man? 
I think since money is involved and subscribers are gold, they try to get their money off the backs of others. Yeah, that could be the possibility. It could be. Everybody's different, man. But how was um Senegal? Louis H said, my friend, which company would you recommend me to work 16 hours a day? I want to work many hours and make money. I want to fulfill my purpose. I applied. Did Silver Bay hire you? If Silver Bay hired you, man, go with them, man. That's, that's a def, definitely a reputable company. If Silver Bay hired you, go with them, man. It's a lot. I don't want to. I don't want to put you in a direction of one company, man. If Silver Bay hired you, that's definitely a good company. I would go with them, man. I would go with Silver Bay. I would go with Silver Bay. If they hired you, I would go with them. Guys, you know I'm coming out with a book, man. Um, the book is the, the book is I've finished. The manuscript is done. Um, I'm just waiting for Master Wayne. I had some people read the book. They like it. You know, it was ten chapters. It's um just a little bit of my story about working in Alaska in the seafood industry and um you know making the transition from being a seafood processor to a full-time YouTuber. So um I'll let you guys know when it's on Amazon, I'll let you know when it's out in your Barnes and Nobles, wherever they're gonna put the book at. I'll let you guys know, man. I will let you guys know 100 percent man. Shout out to my boy, New Jersey Nomad. New Jersey Nomad, you in the book too, man. You in the book too, New Jersey Nomad. Can't wait to read the book. Going to get back to the States for a few days. Anyone in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, you going to Louisville, Kentucky, man. New Jersey Nomad, man. Shout out to him, man. Big respect to him. But anybody, anyone in Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. I guess that's where you're going, but um, shout out to um, New Jersey Nomad, man. He was the guy that brought me down to Brazil. He paid for my ticket and everything, man. He really looked out for my boy a long time now, man. I really appreciate him, man. And um, he believed in me, man, and he said that I would, you know, do well in Brazil. And it was rough. It was a rough road, but he was right. Everything paid out, man, man. So shout out to New Jersey Nomad. Safe journeys, man. I guess you're going, I guess you're going to lose the loose. It's Louisville, Kentucky, man. I don't know what you're going there for. I thought you would be going like Vegas or Jersey, Philly, D.C., L.A., but um, I guess it's something you got to do there, man. William said, Walls, um, reality reports, too, was refusing to, what is it? Walls, reality report, too, was ref referring to, okay, C.J. so cool. I know him. He's out of Florida, I think. Reese's his own brand of shoes, and some went straight, and some went straight to hating. Yeah, that's how people do, man. Best of my brothers, sisters. We hate. I don't know why we hate so much, man, but we hate, man, and it just has to change, man. And you see, I purpose when I mention nobody's name in this live. I'm not gonna mention no YouTuber or Instagrammer or whatever, whatever, whatever. Jam said, I feel like African Americans try to put all their hopes in trying to make a living out of YouTube. Well, some people are successful at it, man, JM. But I mean, like anything in life, man, you gotta have multiple streams, streams of income. That's why I'm here with Master Wayne and I'm learning this Amazon. I wrote the book. I'm gonna write more books. I'm gonna write books about YouTube and my experience with YouTube and you know, books about my life, man. You know, my life is a movie, man. Um, I met a lot of people, traveled a lot of places. And I'm still traveling, so I'm gonna just document my life. But you do need multiple streams of income. You can't just put everything in one basket. But you need to sit down sometime and master one thing or get good at it. And then James said, I feel like African Americans should focus on learning skills for a real, for a real profession. Well, YouTube, JM, you know, I'm a YouTuber, man. And I gotta be hundred percent with you, man. It is a real profession at this level that I'm at, at this level that other black YouTubers are at, other white YouTubers, big time travel bloggers. It's it's a profession, man. It's a profession. It's a hard profession. I mean, it's not the common profession, you know, but it's definitely a profession. It's a skill set. It's a lot of hustling and bustling. It's a lot to learn. You gotta have the personality for it. A lot of stuff goes into it, JM. And like I said, we get our paycheck from Google, man. 
And um, JM, being a YouTuber, it leads to uh, it leads to what you call it, um, different brand deals. It leads to a lot of things, man. I got people calling me up now, and they want me to, you know, do videos with them, or they want me to promote their their clothes or their book or their sneakers. And um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So um, it's definitely a hard job. It doesn't get the respect like other people. But I would challenge you to try to do a YouTube channel for a year and keep your other job and see how it goes, man. Definitely, definitely a hard job, man. It's definitely a hard job, man. Definitely. This is not a cakewalk, JM. But I, I hear where you're coming from. I got to respect your opinion as well. Once again, we got almost 40 people watching, 39. Make sure you guys get a video like on this early morning. You're rocking out with the one and only, guess who I am, Philly Dom. Lewis said, in Silver Bay, now we're talking about um, seafood processing industry. That's what my book is coming out about. Lewis H. said, in Silver Bay, you work 16 hours every day because I want to work a lot and I'm not, I'm not losing days. Or can you recommend one that works long hours, but I want to work on a on a plane, not. But I want to work on the plane, not on the boats. Or you want to work in one of the plants? You tell them that. You just tell them that when you get in the job. But yo, let me tell you how this goes. I'm Lewis H. Seafood process is a hard business, man. You can make a lot of money in there, but when they have fish. Sometimes the fishermen can't hit fish because of the fishing game. Alaska fishing game blocks them, you know, just, you know, preserve, you know, the, the, the fish in the water to preserve them. Sometimes they, they block you and, and they even have days when you can't fish. So sometimes you might not always have fish. So that's why I brought out the book because there's other stuff you can do in the processing plant that will allow you Lewis H still make money even when fish are not there if you do what i tell you to do but um you'll be all right man you'll be all right and when you're there make friends and talk to people and i'll give you more ideas about more more jobs and more opportunities so it's just you'll be all right you'll definitely be all right a h i guess i'm just call you a s a h l said uh what do you say? Hold on. Maybe I'll skip some. No, okay. Brazil vibes said times have changed and the internet and smartphones changed the game just as lots of people are now working at home. I think people, you all just carry a camera and that's it. Oh, man. Brazil, I mean, Belize, I hear you, man. AH said YouTube is a skill set. Yes, it's definitely a skill set. JM, most people can't do this, I promise you. If you don't understand it, I'm telling you, even mad money, it's mad money on YouTube and it's not easy. It's mad, it's a lot of money on YouTube, but it's definitely not easy. It's a hard career, but if you're good at it, you're good at it. Um, Belize said they don't realize you out they're working yeah people think i'm on vacation family members and friends everybody think i'm working i mean i'm out here just vacation I mean, half of the time i'm editing half the time i'm looking at footage traveling around it's, it's a rough little job but it pays the bills and i'm getting better and better at it every, each and every day man that's why i hate to see uh the black youtubers us beefing because it's not many of us so we should try to uplift each other man and support each other man because it's not too many of us in the space that are doing really good in the space. So we have to support each other. Lee said, I'm glad for you guys like you that are out there. I enjoy seeing different things and places. I would love to travel the world. I cannot, but you all bring the world to us. Thank you, Belize. I appreciate you, man. Long live Belize, man. I'll be there soon, man. Before you know it, boy, I'll be back in Belize. Uh, JM said, I understand, but not everyone can be a lumber, a LeBron James or a Kerry. Becoming a successful YouTuber is like finding a needle on a haystack, in my opinion. It is, man. You got to really, you got to gotta bleed for this, man. It's not a cakewalk, man. 
to be successful. It's easy to get a channel and go, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna clown some people. It's easy to go get a channel and um, critique and talk trash about other people you barely even know. That's easy to do that, but to actually try to build an audience to over 100, 100K subscribers, because that's when they're saying you're successful on YouTube when you have over 100K subscribers. My channel have over 100K subscribers, just got that recently. Like I said, I work with any YouTuber. You have three people or 100 people, it doesn't matter to me, man. And um, I have over 42 million views on YouTube. People don't understand that I really work for this. And I got over 2,500 videos, man, up as we speak on YouTube, man. So I, I really work for this. Damn, I appreciate your opinion. And then Sewer Rat said, uh, Sewer Rat, let me do something for you, man. I don't know why I ain't doing it for you yet, man. You've been down with the kid a long time, champ. You've been down with the kid a long time, champ. Gonna make you a moderator. Sewer Rat, you've been down with a long time. John John said people feel like the need to express everything they feel, which is is it smart? If it's a negative feeling, only you alone need to know. That's how you ruin friendships and burn bridges. Yes, indeed, Charm Charm, you you speak the truth. Uh, JM said I prefer an honest dialogue than a fake one, Charm. Yes, indeed. Uh, Gary Smoke said, YouTube gave the average person the opportunity to create their own entertainment and production company. It's a job. No, it's a job. Definitely, it's a job, man. Hard job, but it's a job. If you take it serious, it's definitely a real job. The Italian Stallion, Sterling, what's going on with you? The issue between YouTubers is doing is due to them being exposed to the, the matrix. That's deep, man. I feel where you're coming from with that. I feel where you're coming from with that. Charm Charm said, most black YouTubers have other sources of income as well. There are many black YouTubers out here making money and their corporate jobs. We're paying them. That's 100% true. Charm Charm, that's 100% true. Italian Stallion said, most people are struggling in the world economically. Yes, indeed, Sterling. People have less money than in the past. It creates stress and uh, hate. You, you 100% right, man. I'm agreeing with you guys. That's why I did the live, man. Once again, make sure you guys get a video like, man. We got a lot of people watching. Give the video a like, man. Come on, support the YouTube channel in any way you can. And an easy way to do that, just to get a video like. I'm always grinding for you guys. I'm always putting out content, man. I got more videos out than any 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 YouTuber in my circle. And obviously it's people like, um, uh, I can mention him because I'm not talking about him in this situation. Um, Boxing Eagle, man. He's like one of my favorite YouTubers. He's a black YouTuber, man. Um, I think the guy has over 5,000 videos out, man. He's always constantly, constantly, constantly putting um, videos out so shout out to a uh, boxing eagle man i'm a big boxing fan you guys know i'm from philly so we live and die by the boxing man you know i can't wait to see that javante take davis and ryan get beat up garcia fight but sterling you're 100 right most people are struggling in the world economically and we people have less money than in the past so it creates a lot of hate i agree with you wall said uh even though nobody around, let me see, hold on. Walls, what you say? He said, even though nobody around me feels it, it's a waste how over a million views and four months made shorts, short games, short games fire just in four months out in storms getting content. It's tougher. It's tougher without support. Yes, indeed it is. It's definitely Walls is tough without support, man. I was almost gonna quit a couple of times, but once you do something and you in, you gotta keep pushing, man. You gotta keep pushing, you gotta keep grinding, man. Nothing can stop you, nothing can slow you down, man. That was my own, my mentality, man. Walker Mill said, happy Friday from Belize, one and only Philly Don Walker Mill. When I get back, man, you and your husband gotta cook a meal for me. I'll be back, man. You know, I wasn't expecting to be in um, Brazil this long, but um, 
taking care of some business and I'm getting content out there for you. I wrote a book. A lot has changed, man, but I'll be back. I'll be back in Belize sooner than you think. I promise you guys I will be back in Belize. I'll come see you, man. I'll come see you guys, man. We'll definitely link up when I'm back in Belize, man. Appreciate you, Walker Mill. Put your link in the description, Walker Mill. She's a YouTuber. Um, she's a, what you call it? She has her own cooking show, a cooking network on YouTube. She cooks different foods and she records this. They have their own restaurant. Her and her husband are both chefs and cooks. So, uh, man, I got love for Belize, man. Shout out to Belize. Shout out to D3. My son out there, man. Much love for Belize, man. Belize to the world. JM said, have you considered using a portion of your profits from YouTube for charity in the countries you visit? Um, JM, I'm going to be really transparent with you and real as possible with you, JM. Just because you don't see stuff on camera, I'm not one of them YouTubers that put everything I do on camera, but I help wherever country I am, I help. I give money, I donate money, I do stuff for people. Sometimes it's, I don't have time to you know put the camera up and put it on camera, but wherever I'm at, somebody is blessed that I'm there. Believe me on that. Somebody, a couple people are blessed where I'm at, man. I don't do everything for the camera. I don't do everything for the cameras a lot. Sometimes people get upset with me, say, yo, you should have recorded that, man. You did that, man. Why you didn't record that? But I do a lot, man. I'm a, a giving, sharing, anything I have. The little that I have, I help out somebody. There's plenty of times, I'll give you an example. There's plenty of times, and it's not even from a charity point of view. It's plenty of times I've been in Brazil since I've been here. Plenty of times. Not once, not twice. Plenty of times. I've walked down the street and gave a, a, a homeless person 100 reals, which is like 20 U.S., 17 U.S. dollars. So, seeing somebody that was hungry and I asked them if they wanted something to eat and brought them some food. So I do a lot of stuff, man. I do a lot of stuff, man. It's just not always documented on the cameras and stuff like that. Jam. Like when, when you're on YouTube, it's only a small portion of your life, man. It's 24 hours in a day. Most YouTubers don't have their cameras rolling 24 hours in a day. So I do what I can, you know what I mean? And there's always more to do, man. Trump Trump said, I feel like all black YouTubers should uh, unite, but I hear you on that. We are truly talented and creative. You all out here influencing not only you, but our children. So you need to show them the way. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I agree with you, Trump. And then Status Boom said, uh, Money should never dictate a person character. But it does with some people. Some people never have money or never been around, you know, famous or or people recognizing them and they don't know how to take it, man. I'm a humble dude from Philly, man. So none of that fades me, man. The same person you see on this camera, the same person you get in real life. You could ask anybody that hung out with me for any extensive amount of time, they would tell you that. Once again, guys, make sure you get a video a like, man. We got 41 people watching. We got 28 likes, man. Hit the like button, man. Even the haters, hit the like button. Even if you a hater, hit the like button, man. Because you got haters that just watch you. Talk trash about you. Talk how you dress at night. But let them hit the like button this too. I got love for them. Like I said, my haters that's watching, I want you guys to do good, man. I want you guys to do good. I want you to be successful. And I mean that from my heart. I want to see everybody win, man. I want people to win, man. I don't want people to lose, man. I'm not that type of dude. I was not raised like that. My mom, dad, grandparents didn't raise us like that, man. We want people to win, man. We want people to win. I even want my haters to win. Not many people can understand that. I want them to win. Even though you wish bad on me, I wish good on you. I want you to be successful in whatever you do. Just not hating on people. I don't want you to be successful in that. But if you're doing something, a job, uh, whatever, 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 whatever it is, I want you to be successful at it. Uh, what is it? Uh, status boom say everything is it to be recorded, especially when there are things done from the heart. And I do it from the heart, I don't do it just to you know see if I can get views on YouTube and stuff like that. It's just not me. Now, I'll do it. I did it. Um, when I was in Philly, JM, I recorded um, giving food out 
to the people in Kensington, uh, what y'all call it, uh, Zombie Land, Zombie Land down there in Frankfurt. Frankfurt, uh, North Philly, whatever you want to call it, man. I uh, end up recording that, man, but uh, I don't record, you know, I did stuff in Haiti that I recorded, but uh, I don't, um, I just don't have the camera waving all the time, man, but I'm always helping people, man. I have a big heart and I'm always helping people, man. I'm always helping people. Eddie said, good morning, everybody. Shout out to you, Eddie, man. Good morning to you, man. A man said, Philly Flocka, you've been busy, King. You put out three to four videos a day. I see you. I'm trying, man. People don't know I work hard for this, man. This is not easy for what I'm doing, man. It's not easy. Uh, Italian Stallion said, I saw the stress, hate, and blame game around 1980 and 81 where I grew up. When the closing of the um, steel mill and coal mills, the divorce and suicide rate shot up. Wow. Yeah, some people can't take pressure, man. If it's not in their favor, they don't know how to handle it, man. Uh, JM said, I think the... I think that your hater, your hater number one, the people guy helped you reach a hundred quicker. Oh, Jam said, I think your hater number one, yeah, the P guy helped you reach a hundred K quicker. Lots of laughs. Yeah, he put my name out there. That's what I said. I believe in God. You know, I grew up in the church, man. I believe in God, man. I believe in Jesus Christ. And um, God, Jesus knows my heart. God knows my heart, man. The Holy Ghost knows my heart. I don't have no ill will against nobody, man. So he turned the negative and made it a positive. God turned the negative and made it to a positive. So when the the P dude, you know, want to talk bad about me and put me out there like that for no reason. He could have been a man. He could have been a man. I respect him as a man, but he's not a man. Anybody that hide their face ain't a man. All the time on the channel. All the way the way he talking and you hide your face, you're not a man. A real man shows who his face and let people know. Because he knows he's not telling the truth about it. That's why you got to hide something. If you're telling the truth, you don't have to hide. That's why I don't have to hide myself. And I see subscribers all the time. I see people all the time, man. They know who I am. I'm in the airports. I'm in the streets. Wherever I'm at, people know who I am. If not, I got the Philly Dime stuff on, so you, you can't miss who I am. Yeah, but a negative turned into a positive, man. So um, I appreciate him for that. Talking bad about me in a negative way, which he didn't really know the situation. So... I appreciate him 100% for that, man. And I want to see him win. I want to see P win. But on some positive stuff, not talking bad about his own black people, not putting them down, not having gossip, gossip lives for hours and hours, talking about other men and other women. I want to see him win, man. I want to see him win. I want to see him do good. I want him to see him be successful, but see successful in a positive way, not in a negative way. Yeah. I want to see him win, man. I want to see you win, champ. I want to see him do good. I want him to be successful, man. That's who I am, man. I don't, life is too short, man. I don't carry hurt. And I'm not a petty person, man. I'm not a petty person, man. So I want to see him win. And I'm not just saying that because I want some views on YouTube and people to sound like this and play it over. I want to see P win, man. I want to see him do good, but in a positive way, man. Still got to stop being a hater, man. Do something positive and he's gonna win uh david g said you connected to the abundance and love of god and it shows in your work thank you so much david g and i'm not saying i'm the best godly person out there you know what i mean i got a lot of faults. i do a lot of stuff i sin like everybody else I'm, i got a lot of stuff i need to improve on but um, definitely, I believe in the higher power, man. Definitely. 100 million percent, man. Because in Rio, it was it was rough for me in Rio, man. It was rough. Rio was rough, man. Rio was rough, man. And then the views started coming in and the, the subscribers started coming in. and It was rough, man. It was rough, man. I got down on my knees and God showed out. He showed out, man. And boom. When I got to, uh, I ended up staying in Rio and right before I went to San Paulo to go visit a friend. Shout out to Jess. Shout out to Jess. Everybody know who Jess is. And um, I got the 100K subscribers, man. Me and Jess went out and celebrated, man. Um, 
that meant a lot to me, man, because I put a lot of work in it. It's a lot of sacrifice with this, man. Like I said, when you do this YouTube stuff, this is the stuff people don't really want to tell you guys, man. It's a lot of sacrifice, man. I'm on the road all the time, traveling all the time. I got family members in Philly that don't get to see me like that. It's almost like I'm dead, man. Like, I'm not physically dead, but they got comfortable with me not being there, man. And, and, and it's sad. It's sad. So it's a price you pay when you travel like this, man. It's a price you pay. Yeah, you meet interesting people. You're in interesting countries. You eat good food. You hear other languages. You uh, get acclimated with other lifestyles and different things like that. But it's everything has a price, man. Even even traveling, even traveling has a price. Even traveling has a price, guys, man. Uh. Status said, uh, pettiness and ignorance are strong drugs <laughs> the world over. Yes, indeed. And deeply uh, fostered in American society and culture and sadly amongst YouTubers. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Charm Charm said, uh, JM, what's a fake? What well, JM, what's fake about not throwing out negative vibes? In the universe because you feel a certain way doesn't make it the truth yes indeed i hear you eddie thomas said uh the beef is because some of the um, channels are anti-black men channels and some are anti-black women channels your channel is not one no i hear you i just i'm traveling and i'm documenting my travels like i'm a travel youtuber but i document my personal travels so like if you was like right here with me, you know what's going on. Like I'm in the Airbnb where I'm staying at with Master Wayne. Like I just show what's around me, man. You know what I mean? Some people get mad because I don't go all the tourist attractions all the time. But I'm on the road a long time so I can take my time and go to these different places and stuff. It's more than one way to skin a cat. It's more than one way to um, do a YouTube channel. But my YouTube channel, I believe, is like close and personal. And you know a lot of stuff about me. A lot of YouTubers... You don't really know much about them. They hide a lot of their stuff, but you know, like, you guys know a lot about me. Once that I don't understand you guys talking about this, the whole, the whole world is getting crazy. Still don't, you didn't notice. Yeah, I can tell the whole world is getting crazy. You're 100% right, one. Status Moon said, Gary, smoke. I agreed. Then JM said, because that's called avoiding an issue, charm. You said never talk bad about anyone, just like to address facts. Never talk bad about anyone. Yeah, I'm just addressing facts. I want to see everybody win, man. I'll say it again. I want to see everybody win. Mr. Dickey said hit the like button, the feed, the algorithm. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Let's hit the like button. Let's share the videos. Super chat me. Cash at me, man. I'm doing this for you guys, man. We almost had 100. 19k subscribers we're like uh 16 subscribers short we'll get that by the end of the day man we'll definitely definitely uh get that by the end of the day for sure um just checking something on youtube real quick you always gotta be on top of them okay everything is going good we rolling we rolling we rolling we rolling we got 45 people watching and yes if you're just tuning in if you just 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 tuning in if you're just tuning in, if you're just, just, just tuning in, if you're just, just tuning in, the topic is what really causes beef between African-American YouTubers? What really causes beef among African-American YouTubers? What really causes beef among African-American YouTubers? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Trump Trump said, I see who you are damn said i see who you are one of those negative oh wow Daniels. one of those negative the Daniels that likes to start beef philly and shady what you doing yeah jam i'm not shady you know that champ charm charm okay jam said i mean like when there is an issue you face it and fix it you don't avoid it charm 291 Philly is in the building. This Haiti is killing us, period. 291, I couldn't have said it better, man. 
This hating is killing us, man. Jam said, I don't understand status. And then Eddie said, 291, we don't need the division. No, we need to be together. And then Dizzy Machiavelli, shout out to Dizzy Machiavelli. That's my Brazilian in the building. Dizzy Machiavelli is the Brazilian in the building, YouTube building. Super, my dude. And then Charm Charm said, uh, JM, you don't realize that can be an issue. Just because you um, bother doesn't mean the next person is. That means it's a you issue. Ooh. Faust said, where you at, Brazil, man? I'm in um, Salvador, Bahia, man. I'm in a city of black, four million black um, Afro-Brazilian, four million plus black Afro-Brazilians, man. I'm out here hanging out with my boy, Master Wayne, the Amazon guru. He's teaching me the business now, and um, I wrote a book, and there's a lot of stuff going on, man. It's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of positivity. So you guys got to get the book when it come out, man. You have to support the one and only Philly Dom. I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. The man said, there's a beef, even abroad. <laughs> Brothers got to stop being so damn corny. I hear you on that, man. Once again, man, you guys, make sure you get a video like. I greatly appreciate that. If you would give the video a like, I would greatly appreciate that. If you would give the video a like, I would greatly appreciate that. And also share my videos. Super chat me, cash chat me, man. I greatly appreciate it. Dizzy Machiavelli said, don't eat, don't eat beef in Brazil today. I mean, the meat. Yeah, I don't eat meat like that anyway, man. I don't eat chicken. But yeah, I won't eat meat today. I understand. Gary Smoke said the hate on YouTube is a, re a reaction, reflection of the hate and the culture. Are you talking about the black culture, Gary Smokes? What culture are you talking about, Gary? What culture are you talking about, Gary? What is the culture that you're talking about? I'm just reading what you guys have. You know, I'm trying to feel my way through. Files said I'll be in Sao Paulo two weeks. That train ride to Salvador was much needed. Cool vibes, man. Cool vibes. Remember, we got 50 people in the live watching, man. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. Get a video a like, man. Support the one and only Philly Dom. I'm out here grinding for you guys. Hit the like button. Share my videos. Tell everybody about me, man. We have over 100K plus. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Tell your enemies, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your boss, tell the people at your church, the people at your mosque, tell the people, um, I don't know, where you work at. Tell them to hit the like button and subscribe to the one and only Philly Dom, and I'll keep bringing you these videos as much as I can. Charm Charm said, hey, happens in every culture. It's not just a black thing. Yes, indeed, man. I'll read something that I wrote here. And Charm, you're right. Black people, I'm going to read it verbatim. Black people are not the only disrespectful people on YouTube. People of all races, genders, and backgrounds can be disrespectful on YouTube. There are many people who use the platform to spread hate and negativity. And I got a problem with that, regardless of their race and background. However, it is important. Hear this, guys. It is important to recognize that people of color face great levels of discrimination and prejudice on YouTube. And this can, can lead to more tension and conflict between the African American. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. Uh, University said true that True, Gary, and then Dizzy Machiavelli. Today is Friday where Brazilians don't eat meat. Okay, it's in a lot of cultures they don't. I already messed up, and I ate a big <laughs> thing. Wow, Dizzy Machiavelli, you tripping. Please, God, don't punish me. Wow. Shout out to you, Dizzy Machiavelli. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Status Boom said, Jam, I think that you're a hater. Jam, I think that that will say, Jam, I think you're a hater number one. I think that you're a hater number one. 
the P guy help you reach 100K quickly. Lots of laughs. Where are you talking about Philly when you made this comment? Yeah, he was talking about me, um, status boom. 291 said, and this is why do do the tech to stay away from hate. That's why he tries to stay away from hate. Okay. None of us, none of the stuff is on my videos. Wow, interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Cool vibes, man. But um, yeah, I had to talk about the topic today. We had to address it, man. You know, the elephant in the room and let you guys know what's going on, man. Because that's a big trending topic right now among black YouTubers about, you know, beefs and um, YouTubers that just make content to put down other black YouTubers. Oh, man, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rough game, man. It's a rough game. But if you really want to do this, man, you got to have tough skin, man. If you want to be a YouTuber, you got a tough skin, man. It's rough, man. I even cried on YouTube a couple of times. It's just it's a lot of hurt. A lot of pain. A lot of stuff is going on. JM said, JM said, I've been supporting Philly since day one. Yeah, JM been around a long time, champ. JM, you've been around a long time. You get a little controversial sometimes with your question. I know you're down with me, man. I know you're down. I would love to meet you face to face, JM, one of these days. We all hang out. Status boom. Dizzy Machiavelli, I don't even know why we ain't linked up yet. You in Brazil. Uh, Foul said, Kevin Samuels, I don't beef. I guess Kevin Samuels had a quote. He was saying he don't beef. If you want beef, buy a cheesesteak. <laughs> you hear that, guys? If you want beef, buy a cheesesteak. 291 said that. If you want beef, he said, buy a cheesesteak. If you want beef. But no, we got to unite, man, on a serious note. We got to unite and um, help each other, man. And, you know, the struggle is real for black YouTubers on YouTube for real. So we have to be more united than separated. Uh, Status Boone said, I just, I'm just happy that these YouTube cats is keeping Philly name out of their mouth. Oh, I'm a positive dude, man. They know I'm a positive dude, man. Everybody, man. I'm here for positivity, man. You know, a couple of times people try to bait me in on some hate and negative stuff. You know, people hate on me just because the channel's doing good. People hate on me because I'm black. People hate on me because I'm fat. People hate on me because I'm nice. People hate on me because I'm outgoing and I'm friendly. People hate on you for anything, man. H said, I just subbed to your channel because I enjoy walking around the random locations in Brazil. Thank you, H. I have not, I have no clue what this topic is about. Um, H, I'm talking about um black YouTubers and beef. The the title, once again, let me hear you let you hear the title, H. What really causes beef between Africans, African Americans on YouTube? There's some stuff going on on YouTube now with some African American YouTubers. And I'm just addressing the uh, the issue or the situation. That's all. That's what I'm talking about. But you know, I'm in Salvador Bahia, Brazil. I'm in my Airbnb. I'm relaxing. I'm kicking it. I'm doing my thing. So all is well. All is well. Oh, duh. Yo, shout out to my boy 215. 215, did you delete your videos, man? I went on your channel last night, man. And then I posted one of your um your videos from my community post. Did you delete your videos? Who told who gave you the idea to delete all them videos? I said, I see you deleted a lot of your videos. Why'd you do that, champ? You're trying to build a following, man. Why would you shorten your content like that? My brother, talk to me, champ. Talk to me, family. Tell me it's not so. Tell me it's not so, but I see you deleted a lot of videos, champ. Really? I deleted them to re-ramp my content. Okay. I think it was better if you kept it up there because eventually they're going to ask you about some stuff about yourself, and then you're going to have to explain yourself again and again and again. But, I mean, 
I, if I was you, man, I'm gonna keep it real with you. A hundred buck from Philly, I wouldn't have deleted it, man. It's all a part of you, and it's all a part of your growth on YouTube. I wouldn't have deleted it, man. I wouldn't have deleted it. But if that's what you wanted to do, that's what you wanted to do. But Philly bros is another Philly bro. I wouldn't have deleted it. I would have kept it up there. If you ain't like it, you could have put it on. Um, you could have blocked the content. You could have kept it, but you could have held it. You could have um, that nobody could see it. And then if somebody asked certain stuff, you can put it back out there. But I wouldn't have deleted it, man. Yeah, you could have put it in a way that nobody could have seen the content. Yeah, I think that would have been better if you would have just like um, had blocked the content that nobody could see it, but kept it. Or didn't delete it because it's all you man it's all a part of your growth man this youtube thing is hard i see you at a hundred no six thousand no 618 man we halfway there be 40 percent there i mean 40 percent more and you'll you'll have a thousand because what you what the problem is what you're doing is bro what you didn't you didn't think about was that you need to watch hours the more videos you have the better watch hours you get the more videos you get you have more chance to watch hours. You're gonna get that thousand subscribers soon. You're gonna get that thousand subscribers soon, 215. Make sure you put your link in the description, but you need the views and then you basically somebody might go back and watch some of your old videos because you had a lot of them. It would have made sense if you deleted like one or two, maybe three or four, but you deleted everything, man. So it's like uh so it's less eyes on your channel now. Do you understand? The more videos you have, the more eyes are going to be on your channel, the more chances, the more chances that people will watch a video. I'm going to give you an example on um, 215. Like if you go to a club, right? If you talk to one girl at the club, there's a chance she might not call you back. But if you talk to 20 girls at the club, there's a chance a couple of them will call you back. So you got more chances of getting a second date than if you have only got two numbers at the club. If that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, 215 put his link there, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. It's my brother from another mother. He's doing his thing, man. He's grinding. He's doing his thing on YouTube. Um, Support the brother, man. Positive brother. He helped me out with a lot of things, man. I owe this guy a lot, man. He's good people, man. Solid. I tell you, a solid bro from Philly. He's solid. But most dudes from Philly are solid. Not everybody, but most of us are. And I appreciate him for all the help. Super chats me, cash chats me. He really he look out for me, man. Appreciate him, man. So I'm going to do anything in my powers to help 215, man. I ain't forget you, man. Just get a little side check down here in Brazil, man. Having a good time sometimes. Writing a book. I just finished writing a book, 215. So it's uh, got a little bit of sidetracked, you know what I mean? But um, I'm back. I'm back. And we had a Wi-Fi issue. So for a while, Wi-Fi wasn't working here. So it was, it was like touch and go for a while for us, me and Master Wayne. So we had to, like, go to the mall to edit videos. It, it, it was a little... It was a little, it was a little crazy, but you know, we made our way around it. Two one five said, "Nice, good luck with that, man." Yeah, I'll let you see when the book come out. It'll be on Amazon. I'm just talk about. I worked in Alaska in the seafood industry for a couple of years, so a lot of people call me every day and ask me about jobs working in Alaska. On my Instagram, on my WhatsApp, even in this live right now, there's a guy, uh, Lewis H, was telling me that I think he got hired by uh, one of the processing plants one of the companies so um i think it's better for me to put a book about it and then any bond anytime somebody want to know some information about the seafood process industry they just boom they grab the book and it'll give them what they need to know about the the business so that's what's up man that's what's up uh what else did i miss anybody and don't forget to support your boy philly dom via cash app or super chat you know, I'm grinding for you guys. I'm working for you guys. Man said I keep supporting King. DC is watching. Man, shout out to DC. Man, shout out to Largo. Shout out to Northeast, South, Southwest, Riverdale, 
Silver Springs, Hyattsville, PG, all of PG County, all Montgomery County. DC is in the building. Shout out to Gogo Music. Long live Gogo Music. Two nine one said, "I got family in Southeast DC. DC is the sizzle." Uh, Dizzy Machiavelli said, "I think you' gonna be." I guess he said, "I think you're gonna be ace in reverse." Unfortunately, I'll be glad. It's wrong. I'll be glad to wrong in the future. I oh, appreciate you, Dizzy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dizzy Machiavelli. Uh, 291 said, I got family. Okay, Charm said status. Charm, Charm said, what's going on? But um, yeah, the, the YouTube thing is real, man. The YouTube thing is real. It's hard work. A lot of dedication, man. It, it's rough, man. It's rough. It's rough putting out content. And then I put out a lot of content, guys. So it's, it's a rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. But um, I love the job, man, because it gives you the flexibility to be anywhere you want. In the world, you can be anywhere you want. In the world, to do videos, man. But especially outside of the country for Americans, people from the States, it's good for us because... Um, how can I say this? People want to see other countries, man. You know, you got the passport bro movement. You got regular travelers. You got um, content creators. So it's good for us, man, to see these different places and, you know, expand and open your horizons and see things you have never, ever, ever seen before. But after that, all is well, guys. I mean, I woke up early morning to talk to you guys. You know, I didn't really want to give too much of my opinion in it, but I gave a little bit, but because I just am all about positivity. But I wanted to, you know, talk with you guys and see how you guys feel about this. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys tuned in, man, and watch the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys, man. Shout out to my people back in Philly. Uh, 291 said, with the new phones, have recently just got... I'm going to be doing more videos, more stuff to come with my channel to make sure you supported people come straight out of Philly. Illidel, move like a cell. Status said no, and then Dizzy McVillie said, well, tomorrow's about a fight, fight time. But, you know, status, um, the UFC fight, I'm going to definitely watch that. But I really want to see that Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia in a, Tank Javante Davis fight that's going to be coming on the 22nd. Haitian gunman, Sak Passe, man. Kumoye, Sak Afet. Pose, I'm from. What's going on with you, chat? Haitian gunman in the building. Shout out to all my Haitians in Haiti. Um, shout out to Bike, man, for um, giving them the opportunity for some Haitians to come to the States and work and everything. Really appreciate him for that, man. That was a big that was a big move to help the Haitian people, man. Cause the struggle is always real in Haiti, man. Haiti's a rough place, even on a good day. Tony Soprano, what's up, Philly? All is well, Tony. What's going on with you, champ? What's going on with you, Tony? It's been a while, man. How you been? And Blake said, shout out to Philly, man. Yeah, shout out to Philly Dog, man. Shout out to you, Blake, man. Shout out to the whole chat, man. Shout out to everybody, man. You guys are good people, man. Really, really, really good people man i appreciate you and i thank you for everything without you i am nothing without you guys i am nothing so i appreciate you guys man once again make sure you get a video like share my videos and i thank everybody that subscribed to the channel i really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my youtube heart man i really appreciate you did you really said A was with a belt? Okay. His neck in his neck today in a press conference. What's happening to him? I don't know. Dizzy, you let us know. Dizzy said, oh, how much the fight cost, Dizzy? Then uh, Tony said, how is the Brazilian 305 treating you? <laughs> it's treating me good, man. It's a good place, man. Good place, good vibes. Tony 
said 304. Tony, man, you got to be careful what you say because, you know, I got moderators, man. So if they don't like something, they got the green light, man. They my uh, YouTube hitmen. They got the green light so they can, um, they can, um, let me get a banana. They can um, shut you down pretty quickly. So you got to be careful, uh, Tony Soprano. No, I got love for you, Chan. I got love for you. I ain't saying I ain't got no love for you. I ain't saying that. But you just got to be all right. Two nine one said I like club. It's B in the West, West Philly. Cool vibes, man. I check it out when I go back. I'm drop a dime on them. I don't like that. Y'all ain't see that movie Belly. Y'all ain't get it. I drop a dime on them, dude. I ain't liking that. I ain't liking that at all. Um, Eric said, um, for these on what's popping today, man. All is well, man. I'm just out here maxing and relaxing. And um Brazil, it's my first breakfast for the day right here. Eleven o'clock is what I'm eating. That's what I'm eating. Um, Dizzy Machabelli, that's a guy that I would be glad to punch a couple times. Man, this Tony guy, oh, wow. Tony, what's going on, man? They saying you got beef, man. Tony, they saying you got beef, Tony. Tell me it's not so, Tony. Tony, tell me it's not so, Tony. Tony Montana, tell me it's not so, man. Tell me it's not so. Let's well, see, we got the P in the building, man. I want the best for you, P, man. I want you to stop hating on people. And I want you to do some positive videos. I want you to show your face on YouTube. Talk trash about people hiding your face, P, man. It's not cool, bro. I want positive stuff from you, man. I know you got it in you. You seem like a smart, hateful brother. Be more positive, brother. Brother, please be more positive, brother. The P man is in the building, bro. So I saw your face more, man. Let people know where you at for real. Don't lie to them. But for real, P man, at the end of the day, he was a part of my success. We put my name out there in such a negative way. I appreciate it. You help solidify the Philly brand. So I appreciate you, champ. But God had other plans. And you turn your negative negativity into a positive. I didn't like that. Well, I appreciate you, man. But I want to see you do good. I want to see the people on your panel do good. I want to see everybody do good, man. I'm proud of the brother. Oh, shoot. Vanessa, what's going on with you? Hey, Philly from NYC. Congratulations on now over 100 cases. Girl. Vanessa Gills, man, what's going on with you? I know who you are. Shout out to you, Vanessa. What's going on with you? Status Boom said, that ain't no disrespect. Get some thick skin. Woo! I got to read some more of these comments. Status Boom said, my last comment was Dizzy. Oh, okay. Breakfast of Champions. Had to eat something, man. Dizzy Machiavelli, Bongia. Bongia, Dizzy Machiavelli. Come on, Dizzy Machiavelli. Now I got to block you. Come on, Dizzy. Come on, Dizzy. We can't talk like that on my channel, man. Come on, Dizzy, man. You good peoples, man. You represent Brazil. 
Rio De Janeiro to be exact. Had to put you on time out, man, because I can't, you know, I can't, we can't block other people and not block you, Dizzy, if you do crazy stuff, man. Come on, Dizzy, man. You the family, man. Come on, Dizzy, you hometown team. Come on, man. We got to be an example. You're a moderator. Come on, Dizzy. Machiavelli. Oh, man. Oh, man, we've been on live for a while, man. Uh, anything you guys want to ask me? Anything you guys want to know? Well, let me tell you where I'm at. I'm in Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. In an area called uh, Baja, or we can call it Porto de, Porto de Baja, the area where I'm at, man. I'm in the kitchen of the Airbnb where I'm staying at with Master Wayne. Uh, Vanessa said, doing good, Philly. Waiting for you to return to the U.S. Hit the like and subscribe button. Vanessa Gills, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, Blake said... Which country next? Um, Belize is definitely on the list. South America is on the list. Guyana is on the list. El Salvador is on the list. So I definitely got to go back to Central America, take care of some situation out there, family situation, get that under control. Um, and then it's uh, once it's under control, it's like I'll make my way to uh, South Africa. I'll figure it out. You watch the cameras will be rolling, so you'll see where I'm at. I show my face. I don't hide my face, so you'll see the whole process everywhere I go and what I do. It trades. It trades. So how are you? Uh, how are you, brother? All is well, man. All is well. All is well, my brother. All is well. Then Tony Soprano said, thank you, status. Dizzy Machiavelli, man. Just got to calm down, man. You family, man. You home team, man. You saying suck this and do that come on dizzy man we gotta be better than that dizzy you family dizzy you family i expect much more from you dizzy than that yes yeah, so you're a moderator dizzy you're a moderator vanessa gills how's it going for you man what's going on with you how's work talk to me vanessa let me know what's going on in your world talk to me and once again man thank you guys for the Cash app, I see everything coming in. Appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate your support. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you share my videos. And I'll keep uh, I'll keep pushing these videos out for you, man. We family. I got love for all you guys and ladies. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Man, uh, we had a touchy, 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 touchy subject today. Let me put the subject matter. Let me, let me, let me, let me put the subject matter in. Uh, yeah, I want to see everybody win, even the haters. I want them to do good as well, man. Hold on. This is the, the name. This is the topic today, man. I'll put it in. Uh, I'll put it in the uh, comment section. What really causes beef between African Americans? on YouTube, what really causes the beef, man. We got the BP man watching it from far. This is his, this is his uh, topic. Yeah, I know Blake, it was, it was, man, but everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. It was, but it'll be, it'll, it'll be all right. They the two the best in the game, man. From my point of view, man, they the two the best in the game. Um, two nine one. Yeah, I know, man. Dizzy, my family, man. She cool people, man. But she just can't. We can't. Can't. We just can't. We can't just be cursing like crazy on here, man. I just, I can't allow it, man. I can't allow it. Oh man, um. 
the art of will said, keep close, keep eyes close on Steve and his stories. He will throw you under the bus. Okay. I appreciate the um the pre-warning. I, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, the art of willing. Um Looks like a good person. Okay. Hold on. Um, Vanessa Gills, I'm gonna get your question, but uh, Dizzy Machiavelli. I don't know what the what what this the Brazilian number thing mean. Explain that, Dizzy. Explain that to us. What does the number thing mean? Please explain that to me, Dizzy. And then Vanessa said, Gills, I'm doing well. Philly, your channel is really growing. I think I want to travel to Martinique and Guadalupe. Have you ever been? I ain't been in them places, man. They, countries in the Caribbean that not many people travel to like that. But I wouldn't mind going there. Caribbean said, what's up, Philly Dom? Good morning, all. Yes, all indeed. Oh, what's going on? And then Tony Soprano said, Dizzy, you're sensitive. Well, Tony Soprano, what, what is the 305, 304, 305, 306? What does that mean, man? Status Boom said, it's easy to be tough and disrespectful online. Yeah, it is. It is easy. But Status Boom, most people that, that talk and hide their faces on camera, they, they don't want to see nobody face to face. And I'm not even talking about on some violence or fighting them or anything like that. They they just are internet gangsters. They When they see somebody, they're scared. They're not scared. They're scared to death. So like, I've been doing this YouTube thing for four years. And um, I've met people from all walks of life. And when they see a person, it's a whole different ball game. It's easy to be on a key, be a, be a keypad warrior and all that. It's real easy to do that. But in person, it's a whole different ball game. And I'm not talking about fighting with anybody or threatening them. I'm going to repeat that because you know you got people sound biting everything you say. But um, they don't have that same energy in person. It's easy to hide behind a screen and talk, drink your liquor, smoke your little whatever you do, and talk and hype yourself up and talk bad about people that you don't even know, barely know. Don't even know him. Uh, Status Boom said, it's easy to be tough. Yeah, but we got that one. Then Blake said, I think the passport bro thing has caused a lot of tension, especially for black male travelers. Um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think, man? Because black people are traveling way before this passport, passport bros movement. So I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Somebody elaborate on it. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it. Uh, two nine ones. Oh. I'm sorry about that, Dizzy Machiavelli, but Tone, man, you got to chill with that too, man. We bring positivity here, man. Come on, man. Come on, Tone, man. We bring positivity here. Tony Soprano, we're not into that negative stuff. Come on, man. Say that for um, P's channel and other people's channel. They like people cursing and going crazy and stuff like that. Uh, just tripping. Not, no, it's has not. Okay. Tony Soprano said, uh, no, it's not. Okay, okay. Man, come on, family, man. We got to be more laid back, man. We can't be on this this crazy vibe, man. Come on, man. Come on, people, man. P said, like most Def said, beef ain't two clowns arguing on YouTube. It's entertainment. Post said, like most Def said, beef ain't two clowns arguing on YouTube. It's entertainment. 
Tony Soprano, man. Yeah, just just be more careful, man. Okay, I'm sorry I should have said, should have said that woman. Yeah, you should have said that, man. Tony Soprano, you got to chill out too, man. Come on, bro. Every time you come over here, these last couple of times have been beef, man. You want me to block you from me? I got love for you, man. I'm not about this negativity all the time, man. Come on, out on my channel, man. Shout out to Dizzy Machiavelli. Sorry about that. I didn't know what it meant. Sorry about that, Dizzy Machiavelli. He apologized. B said that's what the dude Dizzy isn't understanding. What Austin did not write, but the crime was. It's just. Uh, interesting comment, champ. Interesting. That's why I didn't read it out loud. Interesting comment. B, how's your day going? What's going on with you, champ? What's going on with you? Let me show you guys what the title is, B. Let me show you what the title is. See if you can add on to this title. This is what we're talking about today. Y'all see it? Boom. That's what we're talking about. Boom. That's what we're talking about. Boom. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Boom. What really causes beef between African Americans on YouTube? You guys let me know, man. We've been on the live for one hour, 26 minutes, and 13 seconds. Who's counting? Just it's the wrong channel to talk about that, man. You can got probably going P man, P channel. He'll talk about stuff like that. I don't I don't know every details of that. I'm not going in too deep into that. This is what I'm talking about. What really causes beef between African American YouTubers? And then Blake said, I don't think it's just between African Americans. I mean, I know the African African YouTubers have beef. I mean, some beef out there in Africa, on the continent of Africa with the YouTubers as well. And um, white YouTubers worldwide have beef. And I'm sure that um, Asian YouTubers have beef as well. Uh, status boom. Next, Tony Soprano wasn't saying that. Um, okay, it's... You know, all over the world, it was the best thing to say, but it wasn't the worst. He said it in a respectful way. Uh, but I'm sorry about that, Dizzy McAvely. She was upset, boy. I'm catching heat for you guys, the stuff that I'm not even talking about. And you guys, Rain Stone, you got to stop drinking or something, man. Charles Jones said, just tripping. It was the location in which he did it. Real nobody would have tripped. Oh, because he was in. Okay. Thank you, Charles Jones, for the the breakdown, man. Appreciate you. Uh, and then Tony Soprano said, thanks for, thanks, brother, Status. Yeah, Status, you in the book, man. I'll put you in the book, man. I'll put you in the book, man. It'll be on Amazon soon. I'm happy to write my first book. It'll be one of many I'll keep writing them. I'll keep writing them. Dizzy Machiavelli, I'm glad that you're back. So Dizzy Machiavelli said, B, let's put things right. I never said, okay. A was doing what you said. You read my comment. There's an investigation about the government. He was in Brazil. He needed to understand the country. Thanks for clearing that up, Dizzy. Dizzy, you family, man. You don't got to get mad. You don't got to get upset. Just let me know and we'll work it out. But thank you for clearing that up. Uh, just uh, some immigrants just don't like the black FBA Americans. I hear you. uh by beef what do you mean i'm gonna send you the comment again i'm not giving my opinion i want you guys to give your opinion i want you to know what really causes beef between african americans on youtube 
Let me put it again so you guys can see it. What really causes beef between African Americans on YouTube? Let's talk about it. I'm not giving my opinion. I want you guys to give your opinion. I'll read what you guys have to say about it, if it's appropriate for me to read. Okay, point said uh, fake beef. It could be. It could be. But no, some of the beef is real, man. You can see that some of the beef is real. You can see that. Anybody that watches YouTube can see that. Some of the beef is real. And I'm coming live to you direct from Salvador Bahia, Brazil. People keep asking me where I'm at. I'm in Salvador Bahia, Brazil. B said I was arguing with P Man for a long time about you, Dom. I mean, he don't always have his opinion, man. So it's no, it's no big deal. I'm over the P Man. Just tell him to keep mentioning my name. Put me out there, P. I know he's watching, but he'll hide his face. So. You really can't respect the man that hide their face, yo. I would love to have him on here if he could talk like a decent human being and don't hide his face. I would, I would bring him on the platform, but I know that's not in his behavior. He likes drama. People can keep hating. I'm going to keep rising. I wrote a book. I'm about to write another book. I'm doing my Amazon thing. Got my YouTube thing, got some other things in the back burner going on, got a lot going on. I have no beef with no YouTuber out there, not even the P-Man. I have no beef with no YouTuber out there, not even the P-Man. I have no beef with no YouTuber out there, not even the P-Man. I have no beef with YouTubers, not even the P-Man. I don't have beef with nobody out there. Nobody out there in, in YouTube land. Shout out to my boy, King and Dreams, man. I got to call him up and see what's going on with him. We supposed to do a live already. We ain't doing it yet. Okay, KSR said beef as in culture, music, or just YouTube. That dude was similar to content. I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't speak for other people. Um, status boom said, what will your next book be about? It'll be about YouTube. It'll be about YouTube. I'll do a book about traveling for cheap. I'll do, I'm going to do a whole bunch of books, man. I like writing. I like, you know, something to do. And the more and more you do it, you get better and better at it. So I'm going to keep doing it, man. Uh, Vanessa said, generally it's jealousy and competition for views and subscribers. I think that was the best, the best somebody ever put it right there. And Blake said, I think it's the same thing that causes beef for YouTubers of other races, enjoying greedy competition, ignorance, and more. Hey, I hear you. Wow. Tony Soprano said, peace out. Peace out, Tony Soprano. Just be more positive on the live, man. Watch what you say, man. But I got love for you, Tony Soprano. I got love for you, Dizzy Machiavelli. I got love for everybody on the live, man. I'm all about the positivity. I'm all about the positivity. Uh, okay, so I said, okay, so beef among, it's some beef, beef among black YouTubers, but it, I mean, it all worked itself out, man, you know, some YouTubers use their platform to spread hate and negativity, other ones are just misunderstandings, but um, I feel that it's not that many African Americans on YouTube like that, that are really making them, that got more than a hundred Plus subscribers, so I think we should try to work together and be more positive. But I mean, everything comes over time, man. Everything comes over time. I just wanted everybody was bugging me about the subject matter, so I figured I'd talk about it. So that's why we was talking about it today. We've been on here for one hour, thirty-three minutes, fifty-four seconds. Who's counting? We got 55 people watching. Make sure you guys get a video like, support the YouTube channel in any way you can. You rock it out with the one and only Philly Dom. Later on in the day, I will go out somewhere and I will um, do some content probably in the evening time. I don't know where yet. I'm still trying to get it in my head where I want to do the content at, but um, I'll definitely do something for you guys today and um, let you see uh, more of uh, this amazing place of Salvador Bahia. Brazil, for sure. 
Joseph, Philly, I saw your videos on Belize Fire, bro. I had to go myself and I loved it. Yeah, Belize is the she's niece. Belize is the she's niece. The she's niece. Belize is the spot. I'll definitely be back there sooner than you guys think. So I'll see some people in Belize real soon, man. I know you watching. I know you watching. I'll be back in Belize sooner than you think. I know you're watching. I know you're watching, but I'll be back in Belize soon. I'm just, I just gonna put a time stamp on it, but I'll be there sooner than you think. And I know you're watching. And I know you're watching. Shout out to Dizzy Machiavelli. Sorry about all the confusion today, Dizzy. So she said, Dizzy Machiavelli said, be also a dude who lives in Brazil. Explain to you what is going on in Brazil. Okay. With the A situation, if you move to Brazil and live the everyday life, you ain't never support. Wow. I hear you. Um, B said, I was deleted. I will delete comments. Misunderstanding, it looks foolish on Don's page. Okay, B, I appreciate you. I deleted with everyone, my friends and family, all love still. And then Dizzy Machiavelli, I got love for you. You know that, Dizzy. The people who don't understand the dude is from a Brazilian tourist. Where's him in the Okay. Okay, Diddy, thank you for that information. Um, nothing wrong with health competition. Healthy competition is keeps you grinding. We all inspired by each other in one way or the other. Yes, indeed. Because I look up to a lot of YouTubers, man. Status Boom said, keep doing your thing, Philly, and keep moving. Keep smashing. Champ, 200K all day. Yes, 200K on the way, man. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep doing our thing. Let's see where the Subscriber count is at now. Yeah, Dizzy said it's not wrong with the bay. Yeah, I agree with you, Dizzy Machiavelli. Dizzy Machiavelli. Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy Machiavelli. Uh, hold on one second, family. I'm trying to check uh, the subscriber count. Uh, yep, we almost there. We had 92. We had. 118k subscribers, 992. We need eight more. So if anybody subscribes to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Randy Nas said, "Just tripping." Unfortunately, hate is both sides. Trust me, I experience both sides. But hate regarding reason reasons is everywhere. Okay. Uh, boom. Interesting. Um, uh, Mike said YouTubers should be supporting each other instead of beefing. Yeah, it's more easier said than done, but that's what I'm for. I want us to, especially the black YouTubers, there's not many of us. There's not many of us over 100K. Because when I, I'm, and I, it don't mean you don't got a successful channel because you don't have 100K, but YouTube says you have a successful channel if you have over 100K subscribers. But it's people that don't have over 100K, their channels are really good and they're doing good and they have amazing content, way content way better than mine. So um, with that being said, shout out to Rico Toro. Shout out to Rico Toro, man, out there in the Dominican Republic representing Puerto Rico. Some don't have any original content, so they watch what everyone else is doing. Yeah, that's true. But sometimes you do got to fake it till you make it. You do got to fake it till you make it. And then you, once you fake it till you make it, you can branch off. Because, I mean, I emulated and copied, you know, some YouTubers myself. And then eventually I found my way and I kept pushing. I kept grinding. But shout out to you, uh, Rio Rico Toro. My boy out there in the Sua Dominican Republic. Mike says stronger in numbers by collaborating. But some YouTubers don't want to collab if you ain't got enough subscribers. It's, it's like I'm willing to work and collab with anybody, man. I don't care if you have one subscriber. I don't care if you have 500,000 subscribers. I'm willing to work with you. I will to help you blow. Even if I can't benefit off of you because you don't have subscribers or anything that can help me, 
I can help you blow your blow your channel up and get your channel bigger. And I'm all for helping people, man. I help people open up YouTube channels. Up a couple of YouTubers open up channels, and their channels are still doing good in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So, what more can I say? Uh, B said, "Geez, I just noticed 118 subscribers. I remember when you was like 60 and 70 between 60 and 70k. Yeah, we moving, B. We grinding, man. We about to be at uh 19." about to be at 19. Um, Blake said you should collab with um, all right I'm gonna try to link up with um sabbatical he's been to Georgetown Guyana but like I said some YouTubers at Hollywood man I'm not saying sabbatical sabbatical is or anything like that but some of them do act Hollywood you know what I mean it's it's very competitive, man. A lot of people don't want to, you know, help each other, man. But if he wants to do something, I'll do something with him, man. Shout out to Sabbatical, man. I see this work. He be grinding. He be doing his thing, man. What the heck? Oh, Diddy Macbeth says, as a Brazilian, I can say Americans do this beef thing again and again. People attack people's family. They go low, yeah, some stuff you shouldn't even talk about. And if you do, Dizzy Machiavelli, and if you do have a problem with somebody and you don't understand what's going on with the dynamics of their situation, it's a thing called Instagram. Hit them up on Instagram, leave a message, he or she, say, yo, I want to talk with you. Um, I see you said this in your video, what's really going on? But um, people try to make content off of people and think they really know what's going on, man. Oh, uh, Dizzy McVally said, how can you have a dude like Charleston White saying what he says is the platform attacking? The wow. Yeah, it's crazy. You're right, Mac. Some stuff I just won't read. I'm trying to be more positive. Okay, this is the topic right here. Why, what really causes beef between African American YouTubers? Let me know. Let me know. Tori said, because CW ain't getting paid. Like the rest of us, that's why. Oh, interesting, interesting. But at the end of the day, you know, like I said, if you're really doing this YouTube thing for real, you're there to make money, man. You're there to get paid. You know what I mean? Support your family and everything. It's a, it's a business, man. It's a business, man. But I would say, and most YouTubers know this, so I don't even really got to say that to them. You just got to have more than one hustle. You got to tell your YouTube hustle and then something else going on. Or two other things going on. That's all. And you'll be all right. But YouTube is a grind, man. YouTube is definitely a grind, man. It's definitely a hustle. It's definitely a hustle. It's definitely a grind, man. It's um, It takes a lot out of you, man. You know, you're putting your life online. You're putting everything on the line. You know, you don't want to build up haters and have people hate you and stuff like that. Uh, what else? What more can I say? Make sure you share my videos, guys. Share it with your enemies, with your friends. Make sure you give my videos a like. We working. Are uh, we six away? We're six away from uh, uh, 119K subscribers, man. We right there. Charles White YouTuber page and monetize, but he makes money over over fists. I mean, you could do Patreons. There's a lot of ways that you can monetize your channel. A lot of ways to monetize your channel. Tori, where you from, man? Where you from? Uh, Black Fist, eighty six brothers like 
to uh, compete. Yes, indeed. Blake said, can you talk about the advantages of being a YouTuber? The advantages, of, I can talk about the advantages of being a travel YouTuber, Blake, that you have the opportunity to travel to different countries and different places that most people don't go. And I have been having the opportunity to be able to stay in different countries for long, 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 long periods of time. And, you know, learn the culture, a little bit of language. Obviously, everybody knows that I'm not the best at the language, but I'm, I'm learning. I hear different words and I'm picking up stuff slowly but surely. But it's just an opportunity to engage in other people's lifestyle and see how they live, how they, you know, how how they survive. Um, it also lets you know that, you know, being from the States, that we're blessed for us from a financial standpoint, even though it's expensive living in the States compared to um, with what people in Brazil make, if you can, if you put the money into a American currency, the average Brazilian makes like between like 250 US a month to like 350. Obviously you have people that are millionaires here in that ball, but the average Brazilian is in a struggle. Somebody even told me, a Brazilian even told me that if you make over $800 a month, that's like considered wealthy here in Brazil. We got Dizzy Machiavelli in the building. She can probably elaborate, elaborate on that. What is the average cost of living? What is the average monthly pay for a Brazilian? Somebody told me between 250 and 350 USD if I convert it into US dollars. And if you make over 800 USD, you consider pretty like wealthy. Will, um, I don't know if you know this. Thank you for the five dollar super chat, the four ninety nine super chat. But I'm not trying to create beef with nobody. I'm here just to record. I'm not beefing with people. I'm not here beefing with people or anything like that, man. I'm getting a lot of love in Brazil, man. I'm showing the people a lot of love. They're giving me a lot of love. This is where my channel went over 100K, man. I got probably like 65, 70,000 subscribers in the last two, two to three months, man. So I got a lot of love for Brazil. I love the people. I love the culture. I love the vibe. I ain't got no problems here in Brazil, man. But, you know, I mean, I'm a Philly dude, so I'm always keeping out. You always got haters, you know, out there lurking and stuff like that. But, I mean, place where I'm at is a lot of security and it's bunkered in. So, good luck in them trying to get to me. I don't know why they would bother me. I come here for peace, man. I'm not here to uh, do crazy stuff, you know what I mean? But thank you for the um, thank you for the uh, $5 super chat, $4.99 super chat. I greatly appreciate it, my brother, from the bottom of my heart. Guys, don't forget I have a cash app as well. If you want to hit me up via cash app at the money sign, Philly Dom 75. I see people drop something in there already. So I appreciate you guys, man. You guys are the best, man. I'm going to keep pushing out the content for you. I'm going to keep being positive. 100 said, when are you going to see you on Raise the Raiders channel? I mean, I go on this channel if he wants me to go on this channel. I'm not really into beef and drama, so maybe. I don't know, man. Raise the Razor came on my channel before we talked. It's up to him if he wants me to come on his channel. It's his platform. If he wants, I'll come on there. But I'm not really into that beef and drama. I'm into building my channel. I'm building a brand, the Philly Don brand. You know what I mean? So I might be boring to a lot of other people that want the drama. I'm not really here for the drama. I'm here for the to build the channel, you know, and do what I can do to be the better, the best YouTuber I can be. Uh, but I shout out to Razor Razor, man. Everybody subscribe to his channel. He's doing some positive things, man. Appreciate the brother. You know what I mean? Cool brother. I flex with him. Like I said, I want to see all my brothers win, man. I'm just not into this hate, man. I even P, even a P, man. I'll keep saying that, man. I know he hate on me. He want to see me fail. He even told me I was going to die young and all this crazy stuff, man. But I want to see him win. I'm not a hater, man. God knows my heart. I'm not a hater, man. I want to see everybody win. Even people that hate on me, I want to see them win as well, man. Because being negative, what can they get you? Nothing can come from being negative. Vanessa Gill said, when you have a lot of subscribers, other YouTubers create negative content about that person that they don't even know for like, for like, for likes. Okay. They like um, slanders, gossip. Yeah.
Dizzy McVay said, dude, you interview looks like he knows Brazil. He, from what I can gather, yes, he does. He is a dude who is can blend with Brazilians. He speaks the language, polite, not flossy, not tough. No, he's just himself, man. He's just himself. Yeah, man, it was rough to see that, man. Black, I saw it too, man. It was rough to see that, man. I got love for both of the brothers, man. Good people. Both of them solid dudes, man. Both of them solid dudes, man. Black Fist 86 said that they was like, you copy me, lots of love. Oh, you copy me. Yeah, I mean, we all got to fake it till we make it, man. We all got to fake it till we make it. Uh, then he said, I just don't like the location drop he did. Other than that, I agree. Okay. Some of his ego, yeah, you know, a lot of people, we have egos, you know what I mean? I always try to check my ego at the door, but, you know, even with me, I have egos sometimes, so it's just, uh, you know. Yeah, I've seen it too, even some of my favorite YouTubers. Have got big headed at times. So always check me, man. I always want to stay humble. I always want to stay real. I'm doing a live with you in the kitchen. About 12 o'clock Brazilian time, man. Um, um Salvador Bahia time. So um, I always want to stay humble, man. But I'm around a lot of people that ground me. You know what I mean? I got Dita Hater around me. Everybody know Dita Hater from um, El Salvador. She don't want to give me props on nothing. I gotta turn water into blood for her to give me props. So uh, I got people around me that'll keep me grounded. D shout out to D the hater. Uh, let me see what's going on. We got 55 people watching. Uh, we've been on one hour. One hour, 51 minutes and 57 seconds. Um, I'll leave, wow, what's going on? Let's see something. I'm here. No, I hear you, man. Um, Let me see, once again, the topic is, let me put the topic in there. So anybody can time in and say what they got to say. But shout out to Razor Razor, man. His channel's growing. He's doing his thing. Shout out to Razor Razor. Boom. That's what the topic is about, guys, right there. What can you tell me? What really causes beef between African-Americans? And I, no, I mean, I'm not even letting the Africans off the hook either because the Africans beef too as well. There's a lot of beef going on in Africa right now. Like, I see one YouTuber, I could say his name, because that's my boy, 100 Grand. I am my what the YouTuber, man. They got another YouTuber doing, like, this does reaction videos to all his videos. Like, and the person is, like, blowing up on YouTube just doing that. I am my what. Just doing reaction videos to I am my what. His sister, his brother. It's crazy. I mean, every now and then she picks some other YouTuber, like Wadamaya, Mr. Ghana Baby. But um, she's focusing, like she's zoomed tunnel vision on my I am Myra. She's tunnel vision on I am Myra. So it's crazy, man. So the African YouTubers got beef too. You know, it's just not like a African-American thing. Or should I say a Caribbean thing? Um, um, okay, DF said, Philly, what's up, man? All is well, man. What's going on with you, champ? What's going on with you? Talk to me. What is going on with you? Black Fist 86. He forgot the best. Uh, it's beef over who got the best cheesesteak. Well, it's Bagano's. I'm beefing, man. Bagano's got good cheesesteaks. Max has had good cheesesteaks. And Philly, man, there's a lot of places with good cheesesteaks. So you could go anywhere and the cheesesteaks be litty. Uh, Hunter said, when you get to Sao Paulo, check out brother Andre's Jamaican restaurant. His food is good. Good brother, too. All right, I'll check it out, man. Jamaican food in um, Brazil. All 
I hear you, Dizzy. I hear what you're saying, Dizzy. And then Punch said, uh, B2 beefing over YouTube Entertainment. This is the bottom of the, okay, I hear you guys. But probably on the wrong thing, man. But yeah, I'm going to keep pushing. Like I said, with my channel, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep, keep doing my thing no matter what. Not going to stop me. Not going to slow me down. I'm going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And I want the best for all my YouTubers. I want to see all of them do good. I want to see the subscribers do good. I want to see the haters that watch me do good. I want to see everybody do good, man. I'm all for positivity, no negativity. The negativity don't get you nowhere. Yeah, they didn't show up and play yesterday at 76. It happens. Black Chief said crabs in a, uh, in a barrel mentality. Yes, indeed. Um, let's see what else I can put. Uh, B said, I like Dizzy, I like you. I feel like we will go at, at it debating. <laughs> Yeah, Disney Mike Ray said needs to ask oh, ourselves question why nobody have a conversation online no more. I don't know. People try to capitalize. Then DF said, How long are you still in Salvador? I'm not sure yet, man. It could be a couple days more. It might be a little longer. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I, I feel the vibes and I still feel like I got more videos to give you guys from uh from Brazil, so it's not I'm still grinding, man. So it's not, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. The grind is real, so I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep keep doing my thing. Oh man, um, D said, D F said, cool. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that. Anybody else have anything else they want to add to this topic? Let me put it again and send it to you guys. And shout out to my boy, um, Solomon Entertainment, man. I'm supposed to do some videos with him. The Wi-Fi was down, but it's back up. So, man, I'm going to definitely link up. Matter of fact, let me give him a call real quick while I'm on the live, man, because I need to take this time with the lives to um, get my business handled. Let me call him while I'm on the live real quick. Uh, Blackfish86 said, what happened to the lady D you was kicking it with? Um, D the hater? She's cool, man. D the hater is cool. I call her up, too. I call D the hater up, too, real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, he keeps calling me. I know you want to do a live with me. We call this um, King Solomon Entertainment. Let's see if he picks up. He on the West Coast. He in L.A. So it's still early out there. It's still early out there. They've been trying to reach me, man. Anybody picking up? Yeah, he's still asleep, look like it. Let me call D the hater for you guys then. But yeah, what really causes beef between African American YouTuber? Oh, I'll be answered. Hold on. Yo, champ. I gotta pick up. Not much, man. I ain't forget you, champ. We're gonna do some videos. They was asking about you. Well, I thought about you on the live. They didn't ask why, but I thought about you. We're going to do one, man. My Wi-Fi was down, man. You're actually on the live right now. I'm actually on the live right now, but okay. my Wi-Fi was down for a while. All right. But we're going to do something so we can talk about some stuff. What happened? What you say? Post what? On your community. Make sure you post it on your community. Make sure you post it on your community. 
All right, I'm going to post one of your videos then. All right. All right, then. All right, then. It'll be on a late night, but it'll be early night for you. All right, you take care, man. Hang up. You got to hang up first. All right, you got to hang up so I can hang up. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, then. You call me on WhatsApp app too, okay? Okay. I'm on WhatsApp app as well. You are? Leave me a message there. Leave me on WhatsApp. I'm glad you got on there, man. You got to call me first. I think you got to call me first. I have to call you. Just leave a message. No, just, you just gotta leave a message. Okay, uh, just leave me a message. You didn't come right up on my fucking. Did you put plus one? You put the plus one and all that? I'm here, man. I'm still here with you guys. Let me call D the hater real quick. Let me see. I'll put her on real quick. We'll call Dita Hater real quick. Let's see if she pick up. Uh, B said, I think most of it, it could be because subscribers in the comments are mostly inciting. Hello. Yeah, Dita Hater, what's going on with you? You're on a live, and they was asking about you. This is Dita Hater right here. Yeah, we got no beef. She just hates on me, guys, but I don't got no beef with her. If not, I'll do the next live about her. Oh, my God. Yeah, you want to say something to the scribe? They asked about you. They concerned about you. They said, what's going on with Dita Hater? I was like, I want to make sure she's all right. You want to talk to them? What do you want to let them know? I am alive. Um, I am alive and working. So I, know I have a cold, but everything's okay. Okay. And I don't hate on you. Yeah, she does, she does hate on me, guys. But, you know, that's why her new name is D. They want to know why I call you Dita Hater. So I don't put you a hater. They don't believe that. They don't know you like I know you. Oh, my God. You're being so dramatic right now. Yeah, and your friend was on here, Mr. P. P was on here, too. That's your best friend. Who? You know who P is. I ain't got... We're not going to give him free promotion. The person. We call okay. him the person. You know the person. Yeah, the, the one that helped me okay. push the channel to a whole other level. Yeah, he was on here, too. But, um, yeah, she's right there. Okay. I'm here with your best friend. Oh, Lewis, tell him say something, man. Mm-hmm. Or Malu. You still didn't tell me what Malu, you didn't tell yeah. me what she was traveling for. You didn't still didn't say that yeah, yet. No. That's the hater stuff I'm talking about. I should oh, already Lord. know what she's I traveling didn't tell for. Him. No, you didn't tell me. Did you tell him about the book? Did you tell him about the book? Yeah, I told him about the book. Okay. And what did they say? When Lewis is there, what did he say? Lewis the Great, what did he say about the book? They both said that it was a very good idea. Yeah. Well, you hear what you hear with um, Louis the Great, right? Yeah, I'm here. We're both working right now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you guys at back at the office. You're not going at home no more. A what? Sorry. Are oh, you at the office? The office. No, we're in a hotel right now, working by the Oh, because y'all at the, um, okay, yeah. Y'all on your miniature vacation. Yeah, we we came on a little vacation, so we're right now working by the pool. Okay, well, tell Lewis to say something, man. Tell him to say hi or something. Stop being shy. Okay, hold on. Let him work. No, he's not shy. He's working. <laughs> okay, tell him to say hi. That's it. Yeah, I'm talking to some okay. friends, guys. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Man. Yeah, how's everything, man? Um, you on a live, so everybody can hear everything you're saying. So I'm just saying hi to you. We are alive. Okay, glad we to hear that. We are alive. Thank God. I, I I brought your woman because she was very stressed uh -huh. in in the city. So I told her, you know what? Let's go to the field and the countryside. I'm sorry. Let's relax. Let's have a wonderful weekend. Um, so she's here, she's happy, she's happier now that you called her. Okay. So we're good. Everything is good. Okay, okay. So we're talking a little bit then, because I'm on an extra live, a live, I'm doing a live right now so they can hear everything. So we'll talk a little later, because they was asking oh, about, okay. they were asking about Louis the Great and D the Hater. So I just, they asked me why I call her a hater, D the Hater. So they, now they know. So... <laughs> Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. I'll pass your woman right here. Okay, okay thank you for putting Dita Hater back on the phone. Friend. Appreciate you. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, so Dita Hater will talk a little later, okay? Okay, we'll talk later. Take yeah. care, baby. All right, take care, Dita Hater. Okay. Bye, Take care, Dita Hater. That's my people in El Salvador, man. I got people everywhere, but I'm Philly's own. <clears throat> uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? But um, all is well, man. I'm back, guys. I'm back. So I think I'll end the live pretty soon. Unless you guys got any more questions, anything you want to know, let me know, man. I felt like talking to you guys today, man. I just felt it, man. It was heavy on my heart. Heavy on my heart. Boom. Boom. So I will make sure you guys hit the like button. Thank you for um, tuning in. Greatly appreciate all you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the cash apps, the super chats. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you for the support of the channel. Um, by the end of the year, we should be at 200K. I'm thinking within a couple months, we're going to grind. We're going to push. We're going to push hard. We're going to keep doing our thing. Uh, nothing going to stop us. Nothing going to slow us down. Uh, great words of Dizzy Machiavelli. Philly, tell that. American woman who lives in Fort Salada to make content again. She's great. Yes, indeed. I told her that, but she she has a full time job. She's making money up there. You know, she's got a whole bunch of businesses and different things that she's doing. But yeah, she's great, man. She's spot on with a lot of stuff, man. So I'm gonna definitely go see her, hang out with her, and we'll definitely do some more videos in the future, man. So you have a um, guys have a blessed morning, afternoon, whatever. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Rick C137. I didn't even seen that number before. If you had to choose to be a digital nomad, would you choose San Paulo or Rio? San Paulo. Rio is too much. Too much drinking, too much partying, too much fun, too much everything. San Paulo, you can just San Paulo, I always say it wrong. You could just sit in there and relax. And Rio's not that far away. So anytime you want to get to Rio, you can get to Rio. But I would do it in San Paulo. San Paulo is the biggest city in all of America. It's bigger than Mexico City. It's bigger than uh, Los Angeles. It's bigger than New York. It's more population than, um, than Toronto. It's the largest populated city in the Americas. It's a, and plus, it's a humongous city. The city is humongous. So it'll feel like you'll be back home. I would tell you to stay in an area called Villa Magdalena. I promote them big. That's the neighborhood I stay in when I'm in... Um, in, in San Paulo, San Paulo, I stay in a place called Villa Magdalena. That's my neighborhood. That's the spot I like. It's cool vibes there. It's cool people. It's just a cool situation. So I'm giving you all sorts of plugs. Rick C137, stay in Villa Magdalena. That's the neighborhood you want to stay in, San Paulo. San, San Paulo. You want to stay there, man. Any Any last questions? Shoot, I don't know what's going on. I can't even. I was there the whole time. Okay. No problem, man. Rick, that support the channel in any way you can via Cash App, PayPal. Um, send people my way to the channel who we have more subscribers. I appreciate you, man. Anytime, champ. Anytime, anytime, anytime. King of Dreams, what's going on with you, man? I was talking about you on the live, man. We put the link up and do a live. You forgot about me, man. It's because I'm black and I'm in Brazil, man. That's what it is. If I'm black, it's because I'm Haitian, man. That's what it is. You ain't um, you ain't uh, link up with me to do the live yet, man. What's going on, champ? What's going on? Talk to me, man. He said, no, nah, B. <laughs> yeah, we supposed to been do the live. This weekend, I'm going away. And moving around a little bit, you know, to get some content for you guys. It looks like it's gonna rain, man. I'm battling with the weather out here as well, man. But um, 
Next week. Okay, champ. Next week, man. What do you think about the subject matter? That right here, man. What do you think about this subject matter? What do you think about the subject matter of Kings and Dreams? Let me know, man. Let me know, man. Oh, man. Interesting, man. Interesting. Thanks for your um, time in. Chime in, time in. I appreciate you, my brother. I'm going to end it on a note. We're going to end it on Kings and Dreams. Man, shout out to Kings and Dreams. He's doing his thing. Cool vibes. That's my boy, Dizzy Machiavelli from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro area, the West Side. Fully there is an American song that the lady says she don't want no short uh, do man, people in Brazil used to play this on live TV and the event. We crazy, yes, indeed. You guys are crazy, yeah, man. Um, hence why I say I get stopped, <laughs> get red pill aware, yes, indeed. And then Black Fist say, Get off the plane in Brazil, playing Return of the Mac, Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do some live videos now, man. So something gonna come up. I'm here with my boy Master Wayne. So we gonna, you know, we gonna do our thing, man. We gonna talk more about the Amazon. We gonna walk around and show you guys the vibes out here in Brazil. So I talk to you guys later. See you guys in the next video. More and more and more videos to come from the one and only Philly Dom. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, he, he produced uh Beast album. He's on a couple uh reality TV shows. Yeah, I know who he is. He lives in Atlanta, Georgia, as far as I know. Tony Garcia, I hear you, champ. But we're about to end the live. So I'll talk to you guys later, man. Have a blessed weekend. I know this is a good Friday, so make sure you're good because it's good Friday. Talk to you guys later. See you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and everything. He said, Tony Garcia, he's a legend in Brazil. Tony, shout out to Tony Garcia. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.